Hey, so let's understand this uh, NetGate PFSense device failure. Um, this has been in production since, uh, I don't know, 20, 2015. Um, and this by, box has went belly up. Um, just trying to understand what's going on. Uh, I don't know if you've ever seen one of these. Let's go ahead and take a look at the model. This is the um, this is the SG. Oh, I'm sorry, SG forty eight sixty one U PF Sense box, um, and it has uh, so customer calls and complains that they've rebooted the device. It won't come up. Won't come up. Um, trying to understand what's going wrong. Funny thing is, I had another one of these fails just a few months ago. So, like, they have a lifetime about three years, and then they die. So, anyways, uh, not to void my warranty, I've left a screw in in the top here, so we can get. Sorry about all the shakiness. No, I'm not going to edit this. I'm just a little frustrated right now. All right, so this is a single board system. Um, it has a power supply and this is a switch that you, it's a soft power switch you can turn it on it connects to the board and then there's a power supply and this is a custom board designed by ADI engineering there's even a website adiengineering.com so this is the board right here uh, and it has uh, six Ethernet ports on it two USBs and a uh, console cable which is over here Right there um, internally it's got quite a few neat components on it um, it's got SATA connections here uh, and it's got the um, or these e SATA or M SATA connections on here uh, it's got RAM this is a Kingston and then I want to point your attention to this little chip right here zoom up on it this is the eMMC. This is where your storage is held. This is where your operating system and your configuration is stored in that chip right there. Um, this chip is bad on here and we can identify that when we try to format it uh, using the utility. You can't format it, it fails. Uh, and it only shows up as 3.2 gigabyte, which I'm not sure, but I think it's larger than 3.2 gigabyte. So that chip has failed and makes this whole box pretty much worthless and uh, so I've been trying to uh, get it to boot to USB just kind of save it because the, the board the processor and RAM should be good but I can't get it to uh, to boot to the um, USB for any reason so I'm on the line with tech support and I'm waiting to I've got a comment that they will repair it for a prepaid return and I'm waiting for the cost right now so anyway, my overall concern is is the fact like, should I be buying NetGate hardware? You know, I've got two of these fail right at three years. Um, custom design board, are they going to stand behind their product? They do have a tech note about a problem with the Intel processor. Let's see if I can find that note for you guys and kind of tell you what they say. Um, Give me just a second. Uh, if you Google clock signal component issue, they don't give you a whole lot of information there because they said it's proprietary. But with this processor um, on this board, there's a known issue. But in the only the only situation where that they will replace the board for three years is in the event that the status light status light is stuck on red when you power it on. So if the power supply goes bad. Nope. You know, if it's green, it won't boot, or if it doesn't power on. Another side effect of this is that it doesn't always reboot. Like right now, you can see, although it's powered on, um, even though it's powered on, um, it's, it hasn't it hasn't booted. Um, but if I if I power it off, uh, I would say nine times out of ten, it won't power back on, unless I wait like maybe 10, 15 minutes. Now, that could be because of the bad um, onboard storage. I'm not really sure. But anyways, I guys wanted to share you this fail failure with you. Um, and I'm hoping NetGate will stand behind their product. If they will stand behind their product, 
I'll let you know. If they won't, then I'll leave this video up. All right. Thanks, guys.